Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Jianu, pakhair raghale. Niyao ma. Shunu shume. Wash maleo. Hiya gunzaimus. Previz. Hena. Hi. Hugs and hellos to everybody who's tuned into PT World and watching World this morning. Along with Shazad Khan and the very pretty, the very oh, beautiful Maha Makhdoom. Hello, Maha. How nice. are you? Thanks, Shazad. That's very kind of you. He knows that I've been having a bit of a hair <laughs> problem with my hair today. So that's very kind. I'm good today. I am actually. Okay, so the year's ending, yeah. and I'm just like I thought things would get better, yeah. but like things are just getting worse in the sense that I'm becoming very relaxed. You know, I'm really feeling the holiday vibe, even though yeah. I'm not on holiday <laughs> yet. So uh, yeah, but things you're are almost difficult. there. You're almost around the corner. So yeah. whenever you know, you know, in your head, the back of your head, oh. you know that you'll be leaving in another ten or fifteen days. I know. Uh, you know, the feeling is. Uh, and I mean, I get overexcited about the fact that you know I'm going somewhere. Yeah. And I'm, you know, the last night or the night prior to that night, you know, when I'm traveling, I actually think to myself, I, and I tell myself, what if you know that, you know, you miss your flight? What if you know something goes wrong? Yeah. What if this happens? What yeah. if that happens? I'm the same. And I just can't sleep. No, exactly. I don't sleep, and I get to the airport about five hours before I should be there. But <laughs> anyway, she's like, what? Hours? If, four. Five four. is an exact four. Okay, okay, that's fine. Sorry, I mean, yeah. the type of system you have over here at Islam Airport, you know, it's it's probably good to be early. Yeah, exactly. So, Shazad, what are we going to be discussing okay, today? Okay, so first of all, first things first, fruit of the day. We've yes. got papaya. And yes, Mahan's going to tell you about papaya. So, and let's the take a look first. Benefits of papaya as well. Okay, so, so that's how the papaya looks. Yeah, <laughs> and the benefits yeah. are it re reduces the visible signs of aging and wrinkles. It's good for your eyes. It, it, pr it helps in preventing heart disease. It improves digestion and it's also used for prevention of cancer and uh, and it helps it with dengue fever by the wow. way guys so if you guys have suffered that it <laughs> if you have suffered that well now or it's of no use but if you guys are suffering in case god forbid you can obviously for future reference. take advantage of papaya as well so exactly. that was the fruit of the day but now ladies and gentlemen moving mm. on towards the public service message yes and ma's got a brilliant message today for all of you <laughs> go ahead ma so you know as we know there's we said this yesterday but i would like to reiterate yeah. it sure. uh but Washing your hands. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's what it is. So, you know, it's very important that we wash our hands because most germs are carried through that. And, uh, you know, we're constantly touching things and people we have, co uh, you know, the coughing, they're sneezing. And, you know, in public, you should just wash your hands. And one more thing, and that is that, for example, if you're coughing or if you're sneezing or mm. if you have to, Please do not put your hands right in front of your mouth no. or nose. All you have to do is put your elbow right in front of your nose. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you're not going to make your hands dirty. Exactly. And because that, you know, when you cough or when you sneeze, all of those things, you know, they're on your hands. And when you shake hands, you can probably Please. transfer all of those diseases to yeah. somebody else. Exactly. Please make sure that I'm not that unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, yeah. that is our message to you guys. So with that, we're going to start our show. And today we have a very interesting show. And I'm yeah. really glad that we're doing this. <laughs> and I'm very happy. I think we can all and, I, and I'm very happy about it because, uh, you know, one of my mentors here on the show, one of my friends here and, you know, one of your friends here on the show as well. Yeah. So I think it's going to be quite a joy, right? But then at the same time, Maha, over yes. here in the society, in Pakistan especially, mm. you know, I'm going to stick to our region. That we, We've seen that there's so much hate within the society. Okay. You know, there's so much violence within the society. There's so many other problems. And then there are people who think of all of those ideas which are out of the box mm -hmm. and they think of all of those problems which are stigmatized within the society and they have a very special way of telling people mm -hmm. that this is what it is. Absolutely. And then people laugh it out. Yeah, absolutely. And Shazad is really prepared for the show today. So with that, we're <laughs> going to go and share a clip with you so that you know what we're talking about. Then we'll introduce to you our guests and get the conversation started. Indeed. Stay tuned. <laughs> اے چشمے بددور خیر تو ہے کوئی کلیم منظور ہو گیا کیا بیگم ایسا کلیم منظور ہوا ہے ایسا کلیم منظور ہوا ہے کہ تم خوشی سے اور پھول جاؤ گی بلکہ پھٹ جاؤ گی اے خدا نہ کرے خدا کی قسم بیگم میری نانی نے بڑی دعائیں مانگی تھی کہ میرا نواسا پھولے پھلے مجھے کیا معلوم تھا کہ یہ ساری دعائیں آپ کو لگ جائیں گی نانی نے کہا تھا پھول و پھلو تو بیگم میری پھول گئی ہائے ہائے چشمے بددور تمہارے انہی باتوں میں تو میری صحت حضرات صحت اٹھائیے میں نے تم سے شادی سے پہلے ہی کہہ دیا تھا کہ تم سوفے پر نہیں بیٹھو گی ہائے نوش پھر کہاں بیٹھو تمہارے سر پہ گردن ٹوٹ جائے گی یہ لکڑی کا تخت کس لیے بنوایا ہے 
नाचो कूदो कलाबाजी खाओ जो जी चाय करो लाहौला वाला कुत यानी मैं ये किस मोटे पतले के चक्कर में फंस गया मैं ये अर्ज कर रहा था कि वो अपनी बानों का रिश्ता रईस आजम नवाब ज्यादा मुमताज हासन Okay guys so I think that gave it away we are talking about comedy and also gave it away was the type the thing running at the bottom so we are talking about comedy and society and we've been very lucky to be joined by some wonderful co uh, comedy performers <laughs> who are going to be talking about the situation in Pakistan and it's not just within this society it is needed across the world so we're very lucky we have been joined by Sana Khan Niazi she is an actor and a stand up comedy performer assalamualaikum good morning mm. how are you i'm good how are you good thank you and you were here this weekend you performed in Aurat Nagh which was hap taking place in Islamabad yes great we will talk about that as well so besides miss Sana Khan Niazi we've been joined by Fahim Azam Azam, Azam. <laughs> yes. and he is also a stand-up comedy performer. Assalamualaikum, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Th thanks so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Besides Fahim, <laughs> Fahim, we've been joined, I'm getting nervous now, the comedians, I get scared around comedians. I'm getting more nervous. So, so besides, and besides Fahim, we've been joined by Adnan Aziz, he's also a stand-up comedy performer. Assalamualaikum, good morning. He's one of my very dear colleagues as well. Thank you very much Adnan for showing up, thank you very much Mr. Fahim, thank you very much Niazi Saab for coming over to the show. <laughs> no, first things no, first. No. First of all, a lady oh, yes. who's a Niazi and she's a stand-up performer. Wow. How did you do that? I don't know. I just See, said what I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, uh, okay, so that's the thing, right? A lot of times, um, that, that's uh, particularly a problem is that we often don't say what we think mm -hmm. because we are conditioned to, uh, you know, change our words around according to the other, the people around us or mm -hmm. the situation. Um, and as as someone who does comedy, mm -hmm. I think it's about telling the truth or saying it as it is, okay. which is important and which people generally find funny. I, and we're like, you know, that's that's not funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's actually sad yeah. and the truth. So. Okay. So let's let's get started with why you came to Islamabad and why you're here. So you are part because there aren't. These days, we're seeing a trend, like you know, the growth of women in comedy. You mm -hmm. guys are you're part of a a comedy troupe, I'd yes. say. And you performed in Islamabad called Aurat Nagh. So tell us, how did you get into comedy and this particular trip? So I had uh, been introduced to comedy by none other than Fahim Hazam here. Okay. Yeah. I, I used to do theatre before this okay. with Anwar Maksud. Okay. So um, although I wasn't writing any of it, but I was part of this whole uh, you know, theatre group, which was all about comedy. We were learning a lot, a lot from Anwar Saab. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, he's, he's a legend uh, here in Pakistan and mm -hmm. world around. And we got to learn so much and then so I got out of that, I started my own business after that and I was like, I don't have time for theatre or performance or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then eventually um, Fahim was like, you know, why don't you try writing mm -hmm. and uh, let's see how it goes. So I started with hosting some of their shows, okay. uh, which was under the banner of Comedy Scene, which is a platform mm -hmm. uh, for comedians to come and, um, you know, have, have a stage okay. to, yeah. to address an audience. Uh, so that that was the beginning, and then as we were moving forward, um, eventually I think uh, there was Fahim, Hassan, Bin Shaheen, and a few other of these guys um, who said that you know there's 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 got to be more than just us boys performing yeah. out there, yeah. and. I think they also knew so many women who had so much potential. So we were all like, you know, let's put together something that would actually give the right uh, platform for women to come and voice out their opinions. And they might be like, hey, look, we found a Niazi too, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Right. I don't right. understand yeah. what that means. I think that's the best part. <laughs> sure. right. Yeah. Now, James, I'm moving on to you. Now I've seen you producing quite a lot of things, doing theatre. And, you know, after every three or four years, you change the pattern of your life. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why you do it, but why do you think that there was a need? Keeps me young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Papayas, that was a secret. Right? Papayas, <laughs> man, Papayas. Now, as a matter of fact, why do you think that there was need for you? You know, we've seen you. You're a fabulous performer on stage as well and on television. Why do you think there was a need for you to change the pattern? Oh, well, see, I'm, I'm a writer primarily. Uh, so people know me as a writer. Uh, generally, I've directed, I've acted. Uh, there's a lot of, th when you're writing, you write things for other people to say. Uh, then it goes into production. It takes a lot of time for it to come out and then for people to respond and react. Uh, Stand-up comedy uh, was sort of, I think, a natural, nat my, oh. you know, my natural... You're always uh, inclined to do that. Yeah, I, it, it was going towards that. I was okay. going towards that because 
now I write and I stand there and I express mm -hmm. because I have so much to say, which I used to say through my plays, yeah. and now I just say them. <laughs> 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 just with just a little bit of twist, they start laughing, and while, we, while as Sana just mentioned, we're we're only sharing really sad stuff, yeah. really tragic stuff. <laughs> so so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, stuff that we want to share mm -hmm. and uh, because the cycle was was uh, you know it used to take much more time uh, during theater and other plays uh, but stand-up gives us that liberty you, you go there you stand up and you, you share what you think exactly. I mean if they're laughing uh, I, I met Sanjay Rajora uh, he's a very famous uh, stand-up uh, comic in India so he he was saying that you know when I make when I say things these are really tragic things and when they laugh I'm like Dude, I mean, the joke is on you. <laughs> you know, why are you laughing? Okay. So you know, that's that's the approach that we've taken, and we've learned learned uh, these things. Uh, so yeah, I, I I think I'm very happy in moving towards this new. Uh, so yeah. that's another feather in your hat. Yeah, I I hope. But <laughs> <laughs> really, moving moving on to Adnan away. So Adnan, most of the time, what happens is that you know, as a stand-up comic, you have to write your own stuff. You know, you cannot probably gather it around from all those other people whom you've been listening to, or probably at times, you know, plagiarism can help. But then, you know, whenever you're writing, obviously you do pick up on stuff which is very stigmatized within the society. For example, women education, or probably there can be other issues as well. Let's not speak about them. <laughs> what is my, yeah. No, we're going to write. Yeah. 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 So, so whenever you're writing it down, how do you find it funny for your own self in the first place? And then, obviously, in the second phase, it's for us. Okay, first of all, uh, ask me the question that how I become a comedian. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 How, how, I don't how think he cares. <laughs> stand up, stand up, all right? Uh, stand up, stand -up comedian. Comedy. Nobody took me seriously in my entire life. Okay. okay. So I become That's a sad. See, comedian. That's true, right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, when I took stuff like uh, on anything uh, which I write in my uh, comedy script, uh, Happens to me uh, okay. mostly. Okay, so, so it's, it's it's all based on your own real time experience. Real time experience, yeah. Okay, okay nice. no, so let me. Okay, let me. I'm going to ask the questions. Go ahead. Let me do around now. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you, Yadnan. Um, you use the material that's about you, but then how do you make it uh, relevant to o your audience? Because you know something that you might fi find funny or sad. You know, how do you then twist it? Because, like Asana said, there's a lot of people who try to be funny, but it doesn't really yeah. work. Do you need any help? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I know, I know. No, 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 first of all, I clear my English is not so good, bro. It's perfectly alright. <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's not a, perfectly alright. We are celebrating our But that's, our that's also but deviating yeah. from that's the question. That's also part of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Okay. That's the, idea. Uh, the thing is that uh, yeah, somehow I find it f funny, but uh, mostly people don't uh, find it funny. Uh, uh, most of the time, but uh, somehow I manage to change the situations and then the characters and okay. uh, then make it uh, comfortable with both of sides. Like, you know. Okay, so it works. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. Because I've seen some of your uh, attempts at comedy, like which is odd as well. Like, you know, you guys do <laughs> these. I like how she says attempts. <laughs> no, 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 no. As in, like, you guys do it. It's funny. Right. Okay, so Sana, um, <coughs> as Fahim mentioned that, um, you know, he, the situation is sad. Like, and we're living in Pakistan where, you know, we have testing situations and, you know, economic situation, social, etc. How do you guys, you know, make it funny without actually being uh, too offensive? Because in the West, you know, people can be very offensive. They're racist but they're as well. You know, exactly. all the stand-up comics so, are racist. Yeah. You know, they, they create all of those ethnic issues as well. So are we at that stage? So where are we in regards to our humor and laughing at ourselves? So somebody once said that comedy comes out of tragedy, right? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we have a lot of tragedy yeah. already so I mean it, it's about time that we actually saw the funny side of it okay. um, and not funny as in you know it's not important mm. but in the sense that on a lighter note mm. uh, things become easier to digest okay. I feel that uh, we're actually really so the role of comedy I feel that comedy is that one thing that is very rational is is because you know we're all like I mentioned earlier that we're always trying to cover up the truth or so being very careful of the nuances and mm. and whatnot but in comedy, you don't have that, those barriers. Okay. You just say things as they are. Okay. And that really is an important thing in our, um, in our life, I think, to, to uh, overcome because we don't normally do that. Okay, now you, uh, you'd like to add? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to uh, add 
to this. Uh, yeah. I'd like to mention a few names, you know, a yeah. few platforms and a few troops. Uh, yeah. uh, for instance, you mentioned Aurat Nath. Yeah. That already, uh, I mean, the kind of content that they have, yeah. I think it uh, speaks out the truth, <coughs> very hard truths, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very difficult for us sometimes, you know, for the public to uh, receive that kind of, uh, you know, naked truth. Yeah. Um, so that's that's brilliant. Another platform that we had, comedy scene. She just mentioned. Yeah. That's that's a pretty much a family oriented, very safe comedy for everyone. Mm -hmm. But then there's a platform called Fitna Fasad or Mohabbat. That's oh, also yeah. a stand-up comedy mm -hmm. platform. Okay. Uh, we've, we've been active in Karachi, performed a few okay. shows in Lahore, and uh, there's been a one or two, I think, in Islamabad as well. Yeah. But you, you, can you see what the name suggests? Yeah. <laughs> Fitna, Fasad, or Mohabbat. So that's, that's where words. we are. I'm okay. sorry? I understand some of those words. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> for all our non-Urdu uh, speaking, what does, it, what does it stand for? Well, it's... it's uh, so the platform, mm -hmm. I, I just talk about the platform. The yeah. platform is about offensive comedy. Okay. Yeah. So people who come to attend those shows, okay. they come ready that they're going to be receiving dangerous and uh, they're going to be receiving things that they may not agree with. It's a triangle with. of agony, pain and love. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's what Basically, it is. Very All nice. of it combined. Yeah. Okay, now, um, you know, we mentioned that there was there's male comedians and they're very much accepted uh, all over the world. But female comedians all over the world have a harder time maybe taking seriously or being called funny. Um, within Pakistan, Sanam, how has your experience been? Because you are part of a, you know, like a female we gang of comedians. So, so <laughs> it's always fun to have a pretty lady right in front of this. So, I mean, right, and they're like, what is she doing? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she can talk. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. so like all other things, you said that, you know, it's it's harder for a stand-up uh, comedy performer as a and female stand-up comedy. And telling the truth, like you guys. Right, so like all other things, this is another thing that's harder for us to do. <laughs> um, but I, I think, um, so there is, uh, a capacity mm -hmm. uh, to accept something like this. It's just that uh, there was no room for it before, no platform for it, no place that women could go and speak out. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that with the Aurat Nag, um, and even with the, so even comedy scene and Fitna Fasad and all these other uh, different platforms mm -hmm. are very, uh, uh, inclusive okay. and which is great they're okay. not only all male they're, they they actually are like you know whoever comes and performs which is great and like or not so I think it's a uh, people have been great mm. at receiving it they love it they come in flocks to come and see that Excellent. what do these women have to say yeah. <laughs> after all and once they see it they're like no okay there's this is great mm. and and we love our audiences and and they love us I hope mm. um, I mean I you know I've had good things I've yeah had good things. so and, and that's that's it I think it's it's growing mm. um, it's something that was not that has not been done before, yeah. but there's obviously room for it. Okay, Absolutely. but one naughty opinion, and that is that you know half of the time what happens is, for oh example, God. when we get singers over here on the show, you know, I we tell them to okay, you know, sing us a song. For example, you know, oh, since okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. so good to be here. Listen, Thank listen, you guys. Listen, hear it out. Hear it you out. Sit down. Okay. So half of the time, what happens is that you know, whenever you would come across you know somebody who's a stand-up performer, you you know, you request them, okay, please, can you crack a joke or stuff like that. <laughs> This is something which I would love to ask over here and then I would love to ask about hecklers as well. Yeah. Because there are people within the shows who are not mm. there to enjoy it, but to damage it. Okay. How do you guys handle it? This is something which we'll be asking them, but after a very short break, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Good morning. You want to say something? No, just Good go morning. for a break. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. And before the break, we are in discussion with some wonderful stand-up comedy performers talking about the role of comedy within the society and how it's evolving and how people are receiving it. And before the break, Shazad had a very good question. And the question I had was for Mr. Adnan Aziz, and obviously it's for everybody else as well. And that is that, you know, for example, if a singer comes in, we will be like, okay, why don't you sing us two or three lines and then, you know, he or she will start acting, oh, my throat's not fine and stuff like that. <laughs> So what happens when somebody tells you, just in a normal, you know, you guys are sitting or having chit-chat, crack a joke? Uh, yeah, I'm throat. <laughs> 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 What's that with the Yeah, no, mostly uh, people ask me this, yeah, uh, okay, some jokes, please. So I said, no, yeah, malab, just give me some money before. <laughs> Because I can't have, malab, jokes seriously, me, yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm earning money from this and yeah. then, uh, malab, Okay, exactly. bhi kaam kaam hai thoda. <laughs> <laughs> so how, you how, much, how much do you charge though? Uh, no, I'm not charging actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, you're not answering the question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and the second part of it was that, you know, what do you do with uh, all of those hecklers which are over there within the, you know, auditorium and that they are there I, to destroy I wouldn't the want to know what you do with hecklers. <laughs> okay, probably you would start beating them. Probably beating them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, well, for the first question, I think when they ask you jokes, uh, I, I like telling them my process of uh, how we make jokes. And through that, they, they get to know a few of my jokes. And then they would also understand on how to make jokes. And because our main goal is to get hundreds of people doing this. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, uh, you know, the great, great, great thing about these uh, new uh, budding stand-up comedy performers are is... As, as I mentioned before the program, that uh, now in these two, three cities, we have more than 50 stand-up yeah. comedy performers, including mm -hmm. 20, more than 20 female performers, actually. Excellent. So that's amazing. You know, this is amazing growth in the past one, one and a half years. And uh, we're all, again, we're all, you know, we have a vision. We, we want more people to come in. There's, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of insecurity happening in here. Mm -hmm. So the more people will perform. So that's how, I mean, when, when people ask about comedy mm -hmm. or a joke or two, we would rather share th with them how to and, you know, what to do. So, so that they get inspired as well. <laughs> Because of his vision, our payment's getting down. <laughs> a lot of comedians coming and joining yeah, us and then... No, but more people more are coming in to watch yeah. the shows, you okay. know. Yeah. More, more people are... So, so the market is ex expanding mm. and that way, uh, people who are really good would get to, uh, you know, get their... Get their okay, yeah. excellent. I'd and like a son Oh, sorry. Heckling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and heckling, yeah, you didn't answer the heckling. Yeah, part. so the heckling part, I think, uh, right now, yeah. um, there is a difference between uh, uh, between the audiences. So uh, in certain areas, you'd find a different type of audiences. In other, in other areas, you'd find different type of audiences. Mm -hmm. For now, the kind of audiences that we're catering to uh, are not generally problematic okay. they, in, in this regard. So, so they're, they're receptive of good comedy, they're receptive of weak comedy as well. So they'd be very generous, they'd be very... Uh, so it's, that's great. Uh, but yes, we have experienced it. And uh, we're, we're, again, you know, it's a process. We, we learn to deal with different type of crowds yeah. and, there's, and there's training happening as well. So uh, among ourselves, we, we're trying to train each other on, area, on these areas. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think it'll continue. I mean, the, the more it's going to grow, the more uh, these, these, we're going to face Obviously. these problems. Yeah. But let's see how it is for you. How do you handle her clothes? Let's start with that one. So, uh, yeah, that's an interesting question because... Well, we any experiences had... first? Yeah, so uh, very few um, and not that many because yeah, this is new for people also. Mm. So until they get really used to it and we haven't even performed in... Uh, so, like I said earlier that we've gotten great audiences right now also okay. who are... Hungry for for things yeah. like this, who mm. really want this, so they've been great. But in case that happens, then well, we're the comedians, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, they're really not doing themselves a favor. Yeah. By yeah. Most of the no. times, this is what I've witnessed. It's so that good watching it for somebody who it, starts it, pointing somebody else out. You yeah. know, he's the one getting. But shot. see, so yeah. we have, yeah, exactly. So we have, so then you know, we we say that although we're, we're not mean to them, but we know that we have the mic in our hand, yeah. right? Um, and of course, we we're prepared for that. Uh, we have to think about uh, if that happens. And then a lot of us actually are, uh, you know, rehearse improvisation also. That's okay. where I was Which, about to come. Yes. And uh, so al although I don't perform, um, you know, improv uh, theater, I don't do improv theater, but there's so many other people and so many uh, stand-up comedy performers mm -hmm. who are also uh, doing improv theater. Uh, or improv comedy, uh, which is great because it's uh, it helps both. Okay. 
Uh, and, 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 and there's going to be a difference. I mean, some of the performers are going to be really, really good with this. Yeah. Yeah. And some of them are not going to be very great with this. And, yeah. and that's the part of growth. And some I mean, of them may cry as well. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and, and you know, to, to come back to the point that he was making, uh, that, you know, he asks for money hmm. before, uh, I mean, if you, if you are to listen to a joke, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a very pertinent thing because uh, if people are coming in to listen to comedy or to yeah. watch uh, performers perform mm. and they're paying for it, generally dip, doesn't dip, happen. Then dipping high. Yeah. yeah. Dip. Dipping high for dip, that. Uh, and they, they, if they don't laugh at joke or heckling, <laughs> I said, okay, your money. Give it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. your money. Yeah, no, no, yeah. They, then they don't tend to behave that way. Oh. But yeah. if, if they're given it, if they're given this thing like very easily, if, if, if we're performing for a crowd that has not paid for it, or just been, you know, they would they take it lightly. Yeah. They, they would think they'd, uh, so, so they'd be more prone to damage. Okay. Right. The, the, the <laughs> but just a small question that is, do you accept credit cards too? He hasn't brought cash. <laughs> There's no jokes today for you, Shazad. Okay, it's perfectly all right. I think it's my job today to crack jokes for all, the, for all you people. No, they're a professional. They're supposed to do it. No. But, it, but it's also too early in the morning. <laughs> Understand? I have a Please question. I have a question yeah. for Maha. Yeah, oh, go ahead. Allowed? No, so, wait, wait, that's not the rule. Okay. <laughs> no, no, fine. Yeah, go on then. The so tables was, have turned. <laughs> yeah. So how, how was your experience with comedy, your stint at comedy with Ladies Only? Oh, that was we'll amazing. That was oh yeah, you watched it. Great. It was really good and it was it was very empowering in the sense that we've picked up social issues and Anam Abbas is an amazing you know, director to work with. So I really enjoyed it, and actually, as a result, I would love to do more. And I was okay. like, now I've got all these names, uh -huh. which I'm noting down. I'm like, you wanted to go hundreds and thousands. So, thousand like, can you include a name? Yeah, so yeah, so I'm your name putting your excluded. name down too for us. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, we're, we're counting you in. Okay. Uh, Shazad, you're excluded. Yeah, it's perfectly all right. Right. You can talk to us. Thank you. That was a great I would love to stick to my job. But now, asking about, you know, since we're talking about comedy, do you think that we, as audiences, are prepared for some reality comedy shows? Do you think that you yeah. know this will be the time in days to come that we'll be probably watching comedy films as well in theaters? Because too many people are working on that. Do you think it will work for us? Uh, personally, uh, I'd like to comment on this sure. first, yep. if you guys don't mind. That's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no even no, if you do don't mind. Don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. So um, the thing is, uh, it is so the com I, I believe that mm. the way we're doing, we're trying to do comedy, mm. I personally believe that comedy can change the world. Okay. And, and this, is a, this is a big statement, but I, I feel very easy in saying this because uh, uh, comedy has the ability to say the harshest of things, yeah. have, the, have, the, you know, have a great range or reach mm -hmm. to people and be able to get away with murder, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. because well, I, I usually say that uh, you so generally if you're saying the same thing uh, seriously, yeah. people will be like, oh, why did you say this? But when you do it in a joke, you could easily say, oh, you can't take a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. So that's how you can say the cruelest of things. In Pakistan, no, the audiences are not ready for that type okay. of comedy. I'd be very, you know, mm -hmm. so, so it's, it's a very, again, a straightforward yeah. statement. Yes, there is a 1%, 2% uh, in cities, uh, you know, in big cities, there would be a percentage of people who would be comfortable, but, uh, but look at how much they interact and engage with the real masses. Right. So, so, you know, when you reach out to the real masses, the kind of comedy they like, appreciate and understand is not something that we do. Mm. and is not something that we would encourage and appreciate. Okay. So, so, you know, there is a gap. There is a gap. And this is the gap that we're trying to fill okay. by trying to do hard comedy that, is, that would be acceptable to, to the masses okay. and so, so that they get, you know, tuned to, to, to receiving the kind of comedy that we do. Oh, yeah. so, okay. so it will change and it can change and that is the mission because, you know, that's, that, that is what we're up to. <laughs> that's that's a slow process. process of yeah. penetration into the, the audiences, the larger audiences. Okay. Like, like when you said, right now we're, we're catering to a very niche. Mm. People who understand that it's okay to talk about these things, mm. even though they don't, themselves don't, but when they see somebody on stage talking about it, they're like, yeah, you know, I mean, that's right. But then there is a large audience who my, is not there yet. Okay. So, and, and slowly are being included with the kind of comedy that we do, we try. So now, we, we, you know, so th the plan is to actually be more inclusive in terms of the areas that we do comedy in, okay. so that people in far-flung areas can have access to, mm. to a comedy show. Yeah, what are those areas, you know? Let, let's talk about that. Nansab, I would love to ask you about it. 
what are Sorry. those areas He's where you want, <laughs> where, 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 where <laughs> you like... want us or you know all of us to be inclusive in all of that art which you put up? Again. Can you repeat? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, repeat that. Let me do it. Okay, okay. so to bridge this gap, okay. you know, this gap where we were talking about that, you know, the audience is not ready for such comedy or such things. Now the thing is, as a matter of fact, over here in Pakistan, we've got total 80 screens. You know, all those urban culture we, which we talk about, you know, it's over here in the cities and we are the audience of that. Well, unfortunately, I think that the industry is going to go down anyways because of the fact that you know, there are lesser screens. It's not about we being ready. It's about, you know, screening all of those films on those timings. Yeah, it's, it's growing. Basically up. where it's 9 or 12, you know. Mm -hmm. So half of the time, how do you think that which are those areas where we need to, you know, probably focus and get more people on board? Fame will give the answer. <laughs> and, 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 just, and just listen. And okay, fame, I, tell them what I told you <laughs> about this. Good answer. <laughs> Very well yeah. done. Oh, the, the kind of comedy I think he <coughs> is more accepted with masses, uh, yeah. to be very honest. Uh, yeah. He's and more yeah, relative. And we'll throw him out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, because because he he uh, again as he he shares his own experiences. Mm. We all do that, mm. but but he shares his experiences on streets. You know, he shares experiences uh, with his family. So he told so, you so much. Wow. <laughs> I, I know a lot. Good, I know good, a lot. Good, 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 good. I know a lot about him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and and uh, I think as as you uh, were asking that uh, you know how to bridge this gap. Yeah. Pan the camera on to Adnan, yeah, it's Adnan speaking. I think I'll speak it. I think I'll speak it. This is I really speak the audience. Use your mouth. <laughs> so let's, let's start it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay, okay, let's do it. So when... So when... Can you do it? So when, I like, I, I, like, as you asked the question, how to bridge the gap uh, between the two, the yeah. masses and the niche, I think, I think what we need to do, first up, is to engage. Both they are, both they are. <laughs> yeah. is, to, is to engage. Yeah. We need to engage with the masses. We... We cannot relax mm. if we're doing comedy, if we're performing, if we're doing difficult things in front of a niche crowd yeah. and we come into that comfort zone and we think, oh, they're, they're liking it, oh, mm. they're loving it, oh, we're fine, mm. we're good, mm. we're good, and they're paying us and all of that. Mm. So if all of this is good, yeah. we will remain here and yeah. it will end here. And it has ended many times yeah. Yeah. within this. Mm. So if you're not able to move out and engage with mm. the real public, it will stop here. Absolutely. Uh, so, so we need to we need to be able to go to the level where they start feeling, oh, I can do this. Okay. Yeah. Because once they start doing comedy, that's going to be the that's going to be the time yeah. when the people are going to come, you know, flock flock to them, close yeah. to them, and and understand what they, where they're coming from. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, I, and Sana, sorry, you want so, to No, no. I just wanted to say that they're the people, mm -hmm. the the masses actually are the one, the really the ones who need comedy, yeah. right, in yeah. their life mm -hmm. to be performing. They want to be able to relate to people who are performing because they're people, and and we're all part of this. But you know, they're different sects of the mm -hmm. same society. Mm -hmm. So you know, for everyone, it's it's easier to relate to people who are Absolutely. part of them yeah, or exactly. part of the area or faces similar issues like exactly. them. Because so, yeah. if an outsider comes in, it's kind of like you don't really understand okay, you don't and you're really just laughing know. at us. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's the whole, like, at least kind of evolution of the audiences. But Sana, I, I, I follow you guys on uh, social media as well, and I noticed that you guys travel in your, um, in your group as well. So, in, and some of those, you have been going to, like, random places, which aren't just the main cities. That's, you guys were in like Festlabad or... That was uh, oh, Khabatuns. Khabatuns, that's the other one. Yeah. Khabatuns. Khabatuns. Okay, yeah. Khaba so Khabatuns. that's the other one. So tell us about that because you guys were traveling all over the place. So right? that's an improv um, group mm. that uh, Faiza started, okay. Faiza Salim. And uh, so yeah, they've, they've been doing really well okay. um, in terms of uh, going off um, to other cities other than Karachi, Lahore, and Islamabad. They yeah. recently went to Faisalabad, yeah. and they had a great response. Okay. And I think it, that's the beginning of um, you know us going into uh, smaller yeah. cities other than the three main major yeah. cities. And those are the people, because I remember when we used to do theater, yeah. uh, there were people from, when we had shows in Islamabad, people from Peshawar would drive all the way over wow. just for a show. Yeah. When we were in Lahore, people from Faisalabad would drive over because they were like, you guys never do shows in our cities. Okay. There is an audience, there are people waiting, um, and I think it's it's our job now to get up and go to these places out to them so that. And you know, going to Faisalabad and doing a stand up show, I think, is one of the very difficult tasks because Faisalabad <laughs> is known to be the hub of Jugat. You know, this yeah. is what people say that, that, you know, 
Jugit is probably a funny remark. You know, okay. you, you can consider And a lot like of them. That. So, so you, can, you, can, you can expect every audience member to be a performer <laughs> in their own right. Oh, exactly. gosh. That's exactly. difficult. So that's and people coming from Karachi yeah. to a place like Faisabad, I think that's... Uh, oh, so and now, okay, I'm sorry. I have yeah, one sorry. question because we moved on from that and I forgot to uh, ask about it because when... Sorry, I'm going back now. You mentioned about pay, like, you know, paying, getting paid as a stand-up performers and... So can one make a lifestyle out of it? Is it a living? Can you make a living out of it? At this point, it's... Okay, please. No, 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 no living. Right. <laughs> no living, only hand to mouth. Okay. No, Nothing. but I think... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I think there is... Um, it has to be uh, done more professionally to, okay. uh, to be able to make a living out of this. There is potential. So, like uh, we were talking about, as the market is growing, as mm -hmm. the audience is growing, we have to reach out in a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, I personally believe that, um, you know, out there we all say, oh, you know, we're an artist, we're, we're artists and, mm -hmm. you know, we don't do this or we don't do yeah. that. It's it's not true. Mm -hmm. To to be able to succeed in anything, you, you have to work really hard mm -hmm. and that's yeah. the thing about comedy. Mm -hmm. And you can, and the people like um, Saad Harun, like, who've, who've made a career out yeah, of it. Yeah, you had him on the yeah. show too. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, that it is possible. That's that's a proof that it's possible. Mm. It's just that so many it's it's not such a developed industry yet. Okay. And the audiences since are not um, acceptable mm. in, of, of this. I mean, just so think if Kevin Hart can do it, <laughs> I think pretty much everybody yeah, can I, do it. Yeah. I think as you just mentioned that uh, cinemas is going down yeah. and you know, uh, the, the industry. So no, an no, industry, no. an industry is something. No, it, it isn't because mm. I, I don't agree with this. Yeah. It is going to grow. Inshallah. And similarly, the, the, the comedy uh, scene is going to grow as well. Mm. So, uh, but it takes time to develop into an industry. Mm -hmm. And once it develops into an industry, then not just individuals, but really people associated with it. For instance, how how you you, you, you don't look at it like this. If Sadharun is making a living out of it, that's great, that's amazing, that's an inspiration, yeah. and that's what we're looking up for. Mm -hmm. But if the manager of Sadharun, if people are associated with Sadharun, their mm -hmm. team can make a living out of it as well, that's when it starts becoming an industry. Exactly. Absolutely. So, so it will take time. We're moving towards it. It's hard. And we cannot, you know, just just uh, you know, bog, be bogged down by the situation that we're we're facing. Yeah, the because barriers are almost high at ev times. almost every industry is facing. Yeah, and the facing barriers that. are high at times. But you know, one last thing, and that is, technology obviously plays a very pivotal role, especially in comedy. Yeah. yeah. You know, how do you guys utilize it? In, you literally in your have five seconds routine? each to answer yeah. this question. It's a big question, but go ahead. Social media. Uh, social media, that's just to uh, get to the larger audiences to tell them that what we're doing, but it is a live performance, which mm. is... Which matters. Live. Yeah. Which matters, and yeah. And you guys can use Facebook Live at times as well. <laughs> you know, for yeah. example, yeah. if you guys... Uh, it, it becomes really difficult because uh, when, you, when you put up your content, mm. you cannot use it, uh, you cannot use much of it in other areas because people would have seen it. Okay. Uh, so you have to keep, create a balance. Yeah. Yeah. I can All hear right. the beep Fa going Facebook on. Is not good. Facebook is not good. They are, we can't co copy jokes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody know that this is a copied joke. So you oh, copy okay. from Facebook. Yeah. So don't do this. So you, know, okay, so you don't agree with that. <laughs> Even if you were the one who made it. In the <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much for being here no today. Problem. It was an absolute pleasure having you on the show and having this conversation. And best of luck with everything. Keep up with the face. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck with your comedy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward yeah. to having Great. you. Great. So, guys, uh, we've actually completely ran out of time. So, do log on to our Facebook fan page. Just with the name of Walt This Morning. Our Twitter page. Uh, Walt This Morning without a G. Our Daily Motion on YouTube page. Walt This Morning. And, yeah, Walt This Morning. And the repeat is that. 5 past 11 p.m. Keep laughing, and we will see you bright and early tomorrow. Till the next time, 1, 2, 3. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you very much. developments in allergy, diagnosis of allergy, 
treating the allergy. So we, have, we are starting an allergy school. And in this allergy school, all the hands-on training will be given to the, to the doctors for allergy tests, wow. all the theoretical knowledge about the patch testing and about the urticaria, which is very severe disease and which yeah. is not treatable as yet. And they will be trained. They will have uh, MCQ questions and they will have an uh, exam. And at the end of the, that exams, they will have a certificate of practicing allergy very in nice. different cities of Pakistan. Very nice, sir. Keep up this good work. You know, all of these initiatives which you have taken throughout your life. And it is obviously for the betterment of the society and for us. Thank you very much for coming over. Thank you, thank you, very, you much. very much for joining us. And for everybody who's tuned into PT World and watching World this morning, all you need to do is... You have to log on to our Facebook fan page, which is with the name of Wall This Morning. Let us know about your feedback. You know, what do you think about Lazarus? And then Dr. Shahid as well, whether you love the show or not. On Twitter, it's Wall This Morning. It's without a G on Daily Motion and YouTube. It's Wall This Morning. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, remember us all in your prayers. The fabulous repeat is going to be at 5 past 11 p.m. Till the next time, one, two, three. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you very much. much.